What's up, guys? <clears throat> Can I come to you? I want to talk to you about the best Green Lantern story I've ever read. Um, I haven't read all of them because uh, there's a bunch. Um, so leave in the comments if you um, uh, think one, that you know one better. Um, because I'm sure they're out there. This is the best one I've read so far. Um, so I've read everything from Rebirth on, and uh, <clears throat> I decided to go out and buy this book right here, uh, Kyle Rayner, because he's one of my favorite Green Lanterns. Uh, I'd say he's number two because he becomes the White Lantern. Um, I think that's really sweet. Um, and uh, um, yeah, and. I, I just got around to reading it last week on, on a plane home, and, uh, yeah, so it was really, really good. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm going to do the first half of this, and I'm going to try to keep it spoiler-free, but then I, I'm just not going to be able to hold myself in. So, if you haven't read this, you should go buy it and experience it for yourself. It's that good. It's that good. Uh, I haven't read all of it. As you can see, but the main part that I'm going to talk about is at the beginning, and I'm just going to say it's heartbreaking, but it's good. It's so good. Uh, it really makes you feel with the characters. So <clears throat> I'd say like it might not be quite as impactful if you don't know some of the characters, namely Hal Jordan, Kilowog, uh, Sinestro. Uh, some of the guardians you might not might not know their story. Um, Green Lantern and Superman. So if you if you kind of have an idea of who those people are, you, this will still still be important for you. There are a couple like lesser known characters that I didn't even really know much about. And I think the story does a good job at getting you into those characters um, so that you kind of feel the weight of what's going on, but. Yeah, so, um, he starts off, or this book starts off with, uh, Emerald Twilight, I think is what it's called. Um, so, Emerald Twilight starts off with Hal Jordan story. Um, and it's a big, um, big story of how Coast City's destroyed. Uh, so that's where it starts off. Coast City has been destroyed, I think, by Mongol, who shows up later on. And uh, he uh, has destroyed Coast City and how Jordan starts off in the crater that was once his, his own city. And, um, and you kind of feel for him like everything he's ever known has been right here where this crater was. Like everything that was important to him. And, uh, it's, that's rough. So, I don't think this will spoil too much. Basically, he, um, goes into, well, he creates with his ring the entire city of Coast City, um, as he remembers it. Um, which brings about, like, an interesting point, like, as best you can remember. Now, Maybe I missed something and it's actually recreating it using the green will energy. But uh, since his dad's there and his dad died a long time ago, um, my guess is that it's really just recreating his own memories through willpower. And uh, obviously, it goes to wonder like how much of this isn't just your memory. And so in reality, even though you kind of he attached himself to it you're just like well, this isn't real like these are just your memories um even though he's kind of making new memories out of it it's weird but um yeah but it's really compelling like the first issue is really just him talking to the ghosts of his past i think that's really interesting and then um so it does kind of feel like a down like a lower calmer issue but then like the very next issue um he runs out of green lantern power and charges headlong toward oa 
to take down the Guardians to steal all the willpower in the universe so that he can, or of the Green Lantern Corps at least, so that he can uh, have it all for himself and recreate his uh, people. And uh, it's fascinating because they send all the Green Lantern Corps pretty much after him. And, uh, yeah, one I didn't mention that might be interesting to, to, to know is Tomar 2. So I think that's his name, Tomar 2, I think is the dad. And then Tomar Ray is his son, if I'm not mistaken. It's either, it's one or the other. And, and they're important in the Green Lantern history. So, um, Tomar 2 is great friends with, with Hal Jordan and, Tomar Ray kind of looks up to Hal Jordan because his father was best friends with him. And, uh, yeah, so, which also leads to Rebirth, which has some really good uh, tie-ins to that relationship between those three. Anyways, so he's got an interesting part to play. And then, you know, of course, Kilowog um, and Hal Jordan fight, which is great. And then you have um, surprise guests show up. Um, and fight him and it's not as big if you haven't really read a lot of what happens before but um, um, they do a pretty good job I think explaining what has happened and uh, so the, just the uh, um, the depths that the Guardians would go to stop Hal in that moment because of their uh, f fear of what might happen otherwise so, anyways, it's really excellent. And then Kyle Rayner gets the lantern, and then just some crazy things happen to him. And it is excellent. He's just trying to uh, be more responsible, be a better uh, boyfriend to his girl, and, um, and that's just a really excellent story. Um, he ends up fighting beside Superman, and uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, him with Superman. It's 80 Superman, so he's got the mullet, which is great. Um, so, just a lot of fun fun there. And, and there's some heartbreak, too. Um, and that I'm not going to spoil right now, because it's rough. Uh, but, this is a great book. Um, if you have not, I think it's pretty cheap on Amazon. Uh, it's $30, it says on the cover, but you can probably get it for like $15 on Amazon. And so, go buy it if you like Green Lantern. Uh, it's an excellent story. It's an excellent story. And if you've read it, leave me a comment. Uh, what, do you, what did you think about it? I try to keep it somewhat spoiler-free so that people who haven't read it can, can get it later. But, man, it's so good. All right. If you haven't read it, go buy it, go read it, and then watch the rest of this. But here's the spoiler part. Alright, so. When Hal Jordan kills Kilowog, it hit me hard. I was like, what in the world? I was like, man. Crazy. Uh, it hit me right in the feels. I was like, no he didn't. Like, it's just so powerful the way, way it happens. And, um, yeah, I was... It was crazy. Let me see if I can't find it real fast. You see him, uh, it's after his battle with Sinestro, and Kilowog comes up and he's like, I gotta stop you. And then, yeah, we, we got him getting hit, and then we got him getting shot, and then all that's left is this burning pile of rubble. And I was like, holy, <laughs> what just happened? And what I love best about that is he just throws his ring away. Hal's like, I don't deserve this anymore. And so he throws it away. And I was like, dang. Like, what, <laughs> what just happened? Um, man, that's, that's crazy. Um, and uh, powerful stuff. And then his battle with Sinestro is really great. Um, and it just tells you, like, the depths that they would go to... Um, uh, to fight him, um, and, uh, yeah, it's crazy, um, and, and that's crazy, but then, like, you know, Kyle becomes the Green Lantern, and, and it's kind of fun, and, 
kind of cheerful for a little while. But then, like, when, uh, when that villain kills his girlfriend, I'm just like, no, they didn't. Like, what in the world? Oh, man, that was, I was, I was sad. I was like, man, this, I really feel for this character. Like, he, he, he's trying to be responsible. He's got his girlfriend back. And, um, uh, and then this guy kills her and, like, throws her in his fridge. I was like, did they really just write this? Like, this is crazy dark. Uh, but he keeps fighting. And, uh, and, of course, that's when Alan Scott shows up, which is awesome. And um, and so I'm excited to see some of the things that come later. And uh, he's, you know, understandably uh, grief-stricken. And, oh, man, it's such a powerful book. Such a powerful story. Um, it's uh, what Ron Martz. It's the guy who wrote it, I think. Um, and uh, let's see if I can't find the front page. Um, yeah, Ron Martz. And uh, so I've never read anything by him so, that I know of. But excellent, excellent writing. Um, the uh, story is so good. Um, it's a lot of fun. And it's very heartbreaking, but it's it's it hooks you once you. Uh, the first issue might be a little strange because you if you haven't read what comes prior to it, but um, once once that momentum starts building and he starts going after the Green Lantern Corps, it's it's good. It's really good, and uh, yeah. So I mean, if you've read it, you you know like what did you think like when you felt. Um, how Jordan kill um, Kilowog? I mean that that had to kill him. That had to kill Hal Jordan to do that. And of course, it's like he does it by accident. He didn't mean to do that. Um, and uh, man, I I don't I haven't really read a lot of what happened later. Um, thankfully, Kilowog's back, so it's Hal Jordan. So I'm excited about that. Um, but interestingly. If you've been reading Rebirth, Tomar Ray kills a villain who killed his dad. And you just have to think how Jordan has been there. And yet now he is fighting against Tomar Ray. Um, because of doing the same thing that he did. So not only did how Jordan killed Sinestro. How Jordan killed Kilowog, a fellow Green Lantern. But now, because Parallax was kind of responsible for all of it, how Jordan's justified in condemning Tomar Ray for killing the guy who killed his dad. I don't know about that. I feel like there should be a little bit more turmoil in Hal Jordan's life as to what's going on. Um, I mean, I've enjoyed Rebirth. It's been really great. But I'm just like, eh, it doesn't all click there. Like, Hal Jordan should be like, I can understand with you, Tim, all right. I've been there. And you don't want to go down this road. And he hasn't yet. He hasn't yet. So, if you haven't been keeping up with that, there's some interesting... Turns that just happened uh, this last week or so with with that. So uh, some interesting stuff. That's a really great rebirth. Hal Jordan and Green Lanterns and Green Lanterns have been two of the best rebirth titles, hands down. Superman was up there. Super Sons is up there. Mister Miracle is up there. Those are probably my top five rebirth titles. But if you haven't read this, well, I don't know why you uh, finished this video, but this is a great book go buy this Kyle Rayner is one of my favorite Green Lanterns he eventually becomes a White Lantern which is awesome and uh, yeah so great book go read it it's a lot of fun great story uh, heartbreaking but it really you really feel like this is an amazing book so go buy that it's really awesome I love it um, I can't recommend it enough I'm excited to see what's coming next with Kyle Rayner and uh yeah so that's all i got but let me know what you think in the comments and uh i will catch you next time peace